order to create an event for our courses or sections within our courses, um, if we make a quiz or test, assignment or discussion, and we put a due date on it, it'll automatically show up in our calendar for that course or for those sections. But if you want to add something that is not a test quiz, um, assignment, or discussion, you can go right to your home screen here under Recent Activity and click on the word Event. From there, we can t uh, change the time. We can say, well, it's going to... Um, I can say, well, it's going to go from 9.10 to uh, 9.10, let's see, 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And I can give it a title, and I can give it a rich description. I can even um, color the text or make it bold. Uh, we can have uh, files uploaded. Let's see. Uh, let me grab this. I'm going to just drop that in there. And uh, I can also have links. Go grab some stuff from my resources or add a video or audio recording. Right now I just have a PDF file there. I can require an RSVP. Um, that anyone can or only certain people I invite or you can just leave it off. And now uh, you can start typing in your um, your sections. And after I type one, I'll select it. And I can type in another one, select it. And then once I'm done, I'll hit uh, Create. And we can go over to the calendar and see that on... All right, now that I'm at my calendar, you can see that I'm showing five of 34 calendars. I happen to have more than most people would, but you can see those items are right there. If I select them, uh, you can see it's the uh, exact stuff that I put in. You can see this one is for digital literacy, and the top one is for Mr. Mershonda's test section one. If you want to change things, you can also slide them over. That's really nice, rather than going in and text editing. Right up here is a drop-down calendar. Let's say I want my digital literacy section to be a different color. I can do that. And now it stands out a little bit. So I hope that helps.